week two of the National Football League. And up next, it's Deshaun Watson. He's coming off a nice week throwing the ball. Four touchdown throws. It's the Browns and the Jets next on Madden NFL 23. We are just a stone's throw away from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the New York Jets and the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis and CD. You look at the Jets coming into play. It's a relatively balanced offense. The next-gen stats kind of bear that out. What do you think they'll be looking to do in this one? I think it'll be exactly what you just talked about. They'll want to be balanced on offense, which means to them, they'll want everyone involved. See if they can get some one-on-ones in the passing game. Maybe identify some situation where they can swing the ball to the backs in space. Even find some spots where they just want to play some old-fashioned power football. As one of the most successful coaches in the league told us once, the definition of balanced offense, that means you can do what you want when you want to, not necessarily just running it 50% of the time and throwing it the same percentage. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Browns on their way out now for the first time. And we'll also get a look at the player brought in from Houston to run this offense. And that's Deshaun Watson. And he said he was feeling good in the lead up to the season. And he proved it in a big way in week one with four touchdown passes. Had the offense moving to peak efficiency right at the start of the year. Awfully impressive. First play from scrimmage, Watson going to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Now Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 21 yards there on third down. Watson on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Grant. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Watson, he finds his man complete. That's Grant. And he'll be brought down just shy of the field. Well, whatever script they put together for this offensive drive, Charles, seems to be working. I'm curious to see if this defense will make any adjustments here. Things certainly going according to plan, aren't they? I mean, the way they're advancing the football, it's like they're on the practice field having one of their better days. But instead, it's game day, and they're moving the ball downfield with purpose. A check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 22 carries, 106 yards. Well, they set a nice tone in week one. He's among the leading rushers in the league. I think that they continue to feed him the football and continue to establish the running game so they can get the play action and throw the ball deep later on. And as a first-rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of cobbling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away. And in community's eyes and fan base, they'll be on you the entire way. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. Well, Watson will step away, and out comes Cade York to handle this fourth down field goal try for the Browns. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. 
So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. So the missed field goal, and now they're in great shape. They'll start at the 38. On first down, Wilson. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And now here's a... And now look at this! Big gain, but a fumble! And this is picked up by the Browns. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Brighter on my spot sheets, I highlighted turnover margin because we, we remember they turned it over four times last week. So another one here in the first quarter, this isn't the way they want to go. No, not even close. And, and it's not something they even imagine because the amount of time that we know that they spend in practice talking about what they need to get done. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. Well, taking a look at Hall's numbers from a week ago, 22 carries, 104 yards, and a score as well. Well, they set a nice tone in week one. He's among the leading rushers in the league. I think that they continue to feed him the football and continue to establish the running game so they can get the play action and throw the ball deep later on. Well, this defense for the Browns, terrific last week in the season opening victory. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. They'll go again with Hall. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Straight ahead is Hall. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. They'll run with Carter. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. They'll try to run with Hall. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden it's third and goal at the one. They held him out on second down. Now here's third and goal. They'll look to run with Hall. Two straight shots on the ground. Third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. Going for it, it's Carter. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Michael Carter, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field. Took it downfield. Put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, 
the six on the scoreboard. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Michael Carter who finished it all off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. A week two underway around the NFL, and a reminder that later tonight it'll be Chicago and Green Bay in the Packers' home opener, the 101st season of that great rivalry. They had the 100th anniversary last year. And then tomorrow night, a treat, a Monday night doubleheader. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Second down, a run with Carter. And a loose football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they have the football that will take over at the 24-yard line. You remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills. Yeah. And, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines. The got to to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. Cleveland offense making their way out. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective and do it. There he goes, left side. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Njoku, one play, 75 yards. And the Browns are able to strike quickly oh, here as they are in for six. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Now Cade York for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. They're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. Berrios now from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And New York set to take the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And this head straight to the sideline. I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. Nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. Now the third down throw incomplete as well. Here's the Jets punter now. 
And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. Oh, good move. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and 10. Now a first down throw, Watson. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Here's Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. That's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Second and six. To the air yet again, Watson. He finds his man complete. That's Grant. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Browns have moved out in front. So another touchdown for him on the year now, Charles. He had two in the opener last week, and it's paid dirt for a third time here. And with good health, he's got a really good chance to be up there among the leaders and touchdown scorer when this season comes to an end. Quick question, partner. Is it bad luck to toast him with a sports drink? Not at all, partner. I think that's a fantastic idea. Cheers. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Dario is going to bring this out of the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there? The front? Ball has it knocked loose. There, this is picked up by the Browns. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. The Browns really liked what they saw from Donovan Peoples-Jones in 2021 as he came into his own as a deep threat after nearly 18 yards of catch and getting nearly 600 yards total. They think they've got a long-term starter on the outside, and he picks up a first down here. That is caught left side by Bryant. Ball on the eight, it's second and four. Back to throw, Watson. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. Touchdown, Browns! Nick Chubb, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Browns go up by two touchdowns. And this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now 21-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Barrios now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. 
Brees Hall helped leading out this offense for another series. And Charles, he's a rookie. He's put it on the ground once, maybe defensively. Now they're saying, okay, we can get this young buck to cough it up two, three times. He's got to be careful here. Yeah, they do tend to zero in on the young runners because once one comes out, as you noted, you think there's an opportunity for more. This is where you have to get with that guy and say, all right, they're going to come after you, but we believe in your talents. Take care of the football and let's go. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. Play action, it's Wilson. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. The Jets at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to take care of business in front of the home crowd last week. Yeah, it's always nice to get that opener at home, but now things get a little bit tougher. The good thing for them, though, is they take a little extra confidence with them when they head out on the road. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 38-yard line. Now Wilson on first down. He'll drop that down to Carter underneath. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing again here, Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. And it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Michael Carter with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Jets get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Now Zerline on and the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Michael Carter who finished it all off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. On the return from his end zone is Grant. The Browns now going to take over late in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. On first and ten, Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now it's Watson. And quick throw here, that's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Watson now to throw. Steps away to his left. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. 
Again, it's Watson. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Watson. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, and those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to the Motor City to check on the Lions at home in Detroit. And you can see they are out in front in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Jared Goff. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting New England Patriots. Najee Harris with a couple of touchdowns there. On now to a look at the next-gen stats for the Jets in that first half. And I can imagine the halftime discussions are about how can we improve the running game? They have not had success so far, and it's reflected on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, for the Browns, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two. Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this Week 2 contest, so we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of Quarter 3. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? They'll put that all together, come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll run with Carter. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Carter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. Back-to-back -back catches here for Carter. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. To throw again on second down, Wilson. Throw right side complete to Carter. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. First and ten, it's Carter. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now it's Wilson. They'll check this one down to Carter. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Here's Wilson. He'll drop this underneath to Carter. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this Browns defense stands tall. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete.
Faking the give. Now Watson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. The Browns send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Jets will take over. New York ready to go again offensively. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Seven yards there at a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down, keep the sticks moving. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 36. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And he'll be stopped short of first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll bring up fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. And we're back now here in Cleveland. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Carter. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, that's complete to his running back, Carter. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. 
Wilson going to throw for it. And this is caught. And they've got the lead here in the fourth. They didn't want the tie. They roll the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feel like we're just hanging with you. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead, and that just changes the complexion of the whole game. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. To throw again on second down. Watson. And that is taken in by Njoku. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Chubb will get the call running left. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try to draw now with Chubb. Room here to run. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Watson. Dancing to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now Watson. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So they'll try to move the ball closer here on third down. A field goal from this spot would be just inside of 60 yards, 59 to be exact. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. First of foul, roughing the passer, Ethan. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Watson. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Back to throw, Watson. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. They call it a loss of a yard there. And now third down and six to go. Here's Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. Touchdown! Nick Chubb from six yards away. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. The play of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew there was time getting short. They had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack, and they fail on the try for two. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. And the Jets set to take the field. 
And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. A first down there on a pickup of 25. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they top 30. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? as he's down at the two-yard line. Call the gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Throwing now is Wilson toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead, and also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Wilson to throw. And this is caught. And it's a three-point game. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Oh, and the tackle comes quickly. That's only going to get him a couple. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Watson to throw. Pass complete to Chubb. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And a timeout is called. So now you're looking at probably just one final play from back in their own territory, and they're going to need a miracle. Forced out to his left, and that is incomplete. Incomplete. 
One last throw here for Watson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So for the Jets,